Well, hello, my friends. I told you I was going to have my other grandson with me today. And this young man's name is Luke. And he is smiling today. Luke is over a year and a half years old. So I don't know how long I'll have him in my lap, but we are so glad to have him today. Well, Luke uh, is an author in the Bible. Not this Luke, of course, but the author in the Bible who wrote the book of Luke's and the book of Acts. He wrote a two-part book. In fact, he wrote in bulk about one-fourth of the New Testament. He, and, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to let little Luke go. He's a little squirmy today, but we'll talk about Luke. So here we go. We're going to let Luke go. <laughs> but anyway, let me just talk about Luke. And uh, he wrote both of his books to a man named Theophilus, who must have been uh, uh, an official, could have been an official of the Roman, uh, in, uh, uh, the Roman government because his name was, or he called him most excellent. There he is, little Luke. See Luke? All right, <laughs> he's coming. Mama's coming to help him now. But anyway, uh, he wrote about a fourth of the New <laughs> Testament. <laughs> he wrote about a fourth of the New Testament. And uh, he was a non-Jew. In fact, he's the only uh, Gentile writer of the Bible. And uh, he was a very educated, we're talking about Luke now, he's a very educated man. In fact, in Colossians chapter number four, verse 14, he is called a physician, a doctor. In fact, when you read the book, there's interesting little uh, things in uh, the book of Luke, is in the gospel, that kind of indicate that he uh, was, you know, he's a little more particular with, with um uh, verbiage like the right man, hand of the man who was his arm that was withered, the right, he uses the word right, and so on and so forth, just things like that. So anyway, um, Luke uh, traveled with Paul. We know this by the words we and us. Now again, uh, in the book of Acts, when he is covering Paul's travels, he uses it certain times. Some of those times were at the Macedonian call when he, where they were in Troas in Acts chapter number 16. And then when he was in Philippi, when Paul and Silas were in jail, Luke was also there in the city at that particular time. He was traveling with Paul. When they came back to Troas, when Eutychus uh, fell out of the, the window when Paul was preaching so long, Luke was there with him uh, then. That was uh, uh, over in Acts chapter number 20. In Acts chapter 21, when Paul went to Caesarea and then to Jerusalem on his last trip to Jerusalem, Luke was with him. Again, we see this uh, in the verbiage or the, the usage of the word we. And then finally, in Acts chapter 27, when uh, uh, Paul was on the ship to Rome and they were in a shipwreck, Luke was with them uh, during that time. Now, again, uh, you know, the thing I, I like about this uh, with Luke especially is that he was not the normal Jew. In other words, God used a man that was outside of the box. Uh, and especially in that particular day, if you were a Gentile, uh, you know, you were outside the box, but God reached outside the box and used this man in a mighty way. And I want to say to you today that God will use you too. If you'll just be willing uh, to, to be a vessel in his hands, uh, you can be a Luke. You can be the one that maybe you weren't raised in a Christian home. Maybe you weren't a preacher's kid or a deacon's kid or, you know, you weren't raised in church or whatever. I want to say that God can use you if you'll just be willing. And uh, I just uh, hope that you will make that decision today. Well, as I, a few days ago, I had Asher. Asher is around six years old. I didn't tell you how old he was, but he, his name means uh, uh, happy and blessed. And yesterday we had Zach and Zach, Isaac. We call him Zach, but Isaac and Isaac's name meant laughter. And today we've introduced you to Luke. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day today. I wonder who we're going to see talk about tomorrow. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you and bye-bye. <laughs>